Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday, December 20th, 2023. Got a little bit of red finally coming in. Dow down 100, NASDAQ down 36, and S&P down 11. So everything down roughly a quarter of a percent. Which you figure that had to happen at some point here. It's been a uh, crazy run upward here the last couple of months. So we will see if this continues today or see if it's just all pre market stuff and then everything's going to head back up into the green. <laughs> Bell's going to ring here about 15 seconds. <laughs> Microsoft pushing up. And there is the bell. We got Goog, PayPal, Walmart starting in the green, Coinbase, Intel, Microsoft, and Baba. Anything else red? So we will see where things go. Hopefully we can get a nice runner, volume runner, like we did in Boeing yesterday. Interestingly enough, the VIX is down half a percent. Futures kind of pushing up. Amazon pushing up. So got a little two-way action going on here. I'm surprised to see the VIX down like it is.
So kind of some wacky stuff going on here. Everything's staying in the red so far in terms of the indices. Baba pushing up. Let's kind of look and see. What it looks like to enter a zero DTE iron condor here in the first five minutes, but still not a ton of premium. The VIX being down. Morning, Bumblebee. All right, getting our second uh, bar here now, so we will see what type of volume comes pouring in. Walmart pushing up. Get a few more stocks going green. This is, is your entry criteria for the OT. Uh, yeah, I mean, at the at, in the mornings, most of the time. And so uh, if it's like midday, it could be different. And it, it is definitely diff different during the last hour of the day. So the exit criteria, I just... I scale out at 20%, 40%, 60% profits. And then I've got that trailing stop at 75% um, that, of the price I got filled. So it's just, it's, it's no different than what Steve teaches in the zero DT course for the morning iron condor. It's just, it's just the exact same thing. <clears throat> Kind of midday, I look, it, it kind of, it could be, I'll just look at like maybe sometimes 25 points wide, 30 points wide, 40 points wide, just kind of depends what kind of bill I can get. I don't like getting in unless it's over $5 of premium. And the power hour is kind of like $4. You picked. I picked the strikes closest to four dollars, and that's ex exactly what Steve teaches in that Power Hour Iron Condor or Straddle. Sometimes, <laughs> futures pushing up. Highs of day.
Oh, some big pushes up here now by some of these stocks. Not really seeing anything. Got a minute left. Uh, um, I'm not really sure what you're referring to there, Skywing. I mean, my charts have been like this. Right for three years, honestly. So I just, they're just set up just like the course. So I'm not real sure on that. I mean, yeah, I, it's been three years ago so that I set these charts up. So I, it's not something I've revisited since I set them up. So, uh, I'd have to do some, yeah, it's not even an option. I'd have to go back into the settings and setting up the Orion charts. Uh, maybe, maybe you're, maybe you're thinking about think or swim. Yeah, you're probably thinking about think or swim. See, this is the think or swim setup. So it's a different. This is a this is Orion. So you're probably thinking this. This is what my think or swim does use 180 days. So totally different broker. Yeah. So I'm sure that has something to do with it. I mean, my 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 think or swim is. Oh, I mean, I'll pull it over here. I mean, so yeah, it's when I go into the settings, it's and time axis, it is a set at 180 days. So, I'm guessing that's that's the reason it's a different broker, different settings. All right, so no up, no volume runners out of the gates. I'm just going to be patient here. For some mighty 90s here. Well, S&P pushing up. Let's 
Let's see if we get some mighty 90 shorts on any of these. Popping up already. Nothing really. FTX had did they? They had earnings. Yeah, nothing really, nothing really shaking. Kind of a quiet day so far here. Yeah, you wouldn't enter. I mean, it's bounced. It it had bounced before it got higher than that previous one. So, you would only want to get in that if it had come all the way down, pushing lows when it ended here. Where? Trying to hold on here. Man, some tech stocks really strong here. NASDAQ still in the red. No big volume bars really of any kind. Never really seen that before. Usually you get one or two. Anyone posting trades? Uh, I would assume so. We we don't we don't ha I don't have any trades yet. Have not seen a good setup yet. Yeah, Netflix. Just straight up. Square coming down. If it comes down to this pivot, I might go long and see if it can. I mean, it's strong today. Up a little under a percent. It's kind of holding above that pivot. It's kind of what Boeing did yesterday. Although Boeing did have a big volume bar. Yeah, I mean, I probably would play it as an upside continuation. Nice push up. It's kind of pulled back. It's a pretty tight range, but still. Boeing pushed up. Come back down through lows.
Tesla pushing up and Netflix, Meta, Apple. Baidu, wow, flushing. So Square, I mean, you could get in long here. If it goes through the pivot, then you could bounce on it. Yeah, Baidu, that, that bar make it as big as the first. So I probably wouldn't play that as a mighty 90. Roblox getting a bar as big as the first. I'm just going to hang tight here for a second because, you know, the markets have been so strong. Would not be surprised if it, some of these stocks pull back a little bit here in the morning and then maybe rebound a little bit. Yeah, by these as big as the first. Just not seeing. Yeah, Piton, downside volume runner. If you want a small stock to trade. I used to trade Piton all the time when it was Uh, price tire. Hmm. Tesla just shooting up. Tesla, Netflix, just no pullback whatsoever. Not seeing anything I like at the moment. All the indices still in the red, but we have some things pushing. NASDAQ, though, is getting close to going green. So NVIDIA push up, pull back to yesterday's high. Wondering if it was going is going to continue upward. Check NVIDIA here. Morning, Dax. Yeah, Bob, it's not enough volume separation there. You need more separation. I don't know if you remember that. What was it? NVIDIA yesterday, how it had the clear separation. That's Those are the times to take those, not when it's just barely bigger. So definitely seeing a little two-way action here. Got some pushing up, some coming down. Future is not moving much from at the moment. Yeah, NVIDIA was going to 
If it came back down to yesterday's high, I was going to look at getting long. Amazon kind of holding on here. So just just not any signals really in terms of volume. No good clear cut mighty nineties. No good clear cut runners, volume runners. Tesla, and that bar is not going to get as big as the first. It's getting close. So NVIDIA we'll might look at a little continuation up if it can come down just a little bit more. Hopefully it doesn't leave without me here. Big bar in Airbnb. Okay, NVIDIA is kind of leaving without me. Take a look at Airbnb. Let's see. A, so I might get short here. Airbnb. We're using the two days to expiration option chain. We trade the 143 puts. Build at $1.27. So I had a little bit of a bounce there. I just wanted to jump in quick. So NVIDIA is coming down now, but I'm not so sure it might push through that. Yesterday's high, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. I would close half of my Airbnb at... Well, I'm going to close half right now here. Build it a buck 45 to close half. Yeah, so I'm going to kind of, I don't think I'm going to take an NVIDIA now. Things might be getting weak here. The indices never went green as we had stuff pushing up. It's usually not a good sign. Once they turn green green, and and uh, you know flip from red to green, then you may be a little safer going long. Something like this. It's just based off price action and not any volume. The meta stands strong, though. We get out of another Airbnb here. Build it a buck sixty, a dollar sixty to close the quarter. So nice flip there in Airbnb. It's been a while since I've taken a downside volume runner. Got some news coming out.
Netflix just kind of hanging on. Same thing with Tesla. Meta's already going through highs. So that's interesting. Airbnb kind of trying to pop back up here. Okay, thanks. Up four. Amazon's kind of holding on to just consolidating here. So, I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, Roku kind of had a little mighty 90 there. You see what that looks like in toss. Yeah, pretty decent Mighty 90 if I could have gotten filled down here. We'll see if it pushes back down. It's a pretty decent looking Mighty 90 and toss too. But it needs to come down back through to lows. Okay, there it goes. So Roku. Going to trade the 92... Calls, 92 calls in Roku. Ah, man, it popped back up. What are you doing? Come on. Come back down here. No. Man, it didn't come. It didn't stay down long. I'm not going to chase it. Airbnb trying to pop back up too. Don't like that. Roku, I was trying to get filled at like a buck sixty-five right in there. Amazon pushing up. Um, cancel my Roku. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't come down very long. I mean, it came down, touched, and went right back up. So sounds like some positive news. Appreciate you posting that. Yeah, I'm still in Airbnb. It's popping back up. NVIDIA still struggling to push up with some of these others. I'm not convinced we're not still going a little lower. Not many good signals here today. Yeah, but Netflix pushing down here to see how far it goes. Apple's Apple and Amazon are what I would say really good consolidators right there. <clears throat> so it seems like oh man. Look at that S and P popped up now coming back down. It's interesting.
Roku coming down. I still got everything on that. I don't I don't have the order in, but watching the price. 92 calls in Roku for that mighty 90. Man, look at Meta. Jesus. Try to jump in Roku here. Build it a buck seventy in Roku. So I'll look for two volume bars that are green consecutive. Airbnb, it gets above here, be my cut point. And square, I, I was real tempted to jump in square, upside continuation. Close half my Roku at a buck 90. So I guess technically that bar turned green for Roku, didn't it? Hmm. Filled a buck 90. Yeah, Airbnb needs to roll back over for me. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Should have went with my gut. If markets were strong, I was going to get in square, but they were weak. So I it really didn't come down to that pivot like I wanted it to either. Get out of another uh, Roku at 205. So Airbnb kind of popping up to where my exit would be. So I'm going to cut Airbnb. Build it a buck 22. So gave a little back there. Meta Mighty 90. Yeah, it kind of does have a little separation. But, man, it's strong. So, I'm going to be careful with that one. I don't want to get myself in a one that's in rip-your-face-off mode. Man, futures have really pushed up. Netflix. Mm. Let me take a look at Netflix and toss. Yeah, it's not. It's just even in toss, like that separation. You you just got to make sure that there. It can't just be barely bigger. It's got to be. There has to be some separation. Um, if you go back and watch my video from yesterday, you'll see NVIDIA, you'll see the big difference. Like I don't really trade the mighty nineties when there's just barely separation. I really only trade them when I, when I get that real distinct separation. A lot of times people will see, oh, well, it's, it's bigger than the previous. Well, yeah, but like a, a couple ticks. But that's not that's not the point of the mighty ninety. The point of the mighty ninety is when you've got a clear volume pop that makes it separate from the previous one. Okay, so Roku gotta decide: do I cut it? I mean, this one was red. And at the last second, flip to green. 
So I might I might wait just to wait and see what this next bar gives me. So these stocks really aren't going anywhere. Apple, Amazon, they're just kind of sitting there. Let's go mighty ninety. Let me check that in. Toss. Yeah, a little mighty ninety in Costco. I would say that qualifies. It's that's good enough separation. Let's see what those prices are like. Kind of wide strikes. Yeah, I guess they're not awful. Well, thirty cents. Forty cents, yeah. It's a little too. Not, I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna stay away from Costco. But if you like it, take it, right? Ah, Roku coming back down. I didn't see that until now. <laughs> Let me guess. Airbnb rolled over. I don't know yet. Well, yeah, I'm not always right though. But is it a good example of how there's better separation? I mean, just as an example, if you're kind of learning the mighty 90, it, it, it's definitely better than some of the others that you, we've seen today. So Roku technically should be out of it. Um, I got in down here at the bottom of this bar and then it popped up green. So I wasn't really going to count that one as green. Yeah, the thing with Meta, though, man, that bar, too, was close to as big as the first. Wouldn't be surprised to see a little consolidation here and then rip. And if Roku looks like it wants to really come down, I'll probably just bail on it since technically I've gotten two green bars. Ah, Airbnb. Kind of starting to roll over here. Maybe I should have held a little bit longer. Futures doing. Dow futures pushing up towards highs of day. I'm going to go ahead and close my Roku. Looks like it wants to come down here. Build it a buck 80. So, that's a winner. A monster winner by any means, but got out of half and then got out 10 cents higher than I got my original fill. Ah, 
Look at NVIDIA, how it held, and now it's popping up. I was really close. You know, I was talking about getting long if it came down to yesterday's high. You can see how it three times it dipped its toe below it and then pushed up. Yeah, Apple's kind of consolidating here. Dang it, NVIDIA. That would have been a beast. Costco's still coming down. PayPal kind of consolidating as well. Keep an eye on it. See if it comes down. Ah, Airbnb rolled back over. Look at that. Shucks. Nvidia mighty ninety. Let's take a peek on toss. Yeah, I'd say with toss, there's some distinct separation. So if it pushes back up to where it got pushed down here, it might look a good short. <clears throat> Amazon pushing through hides of day. Yeah, I want. I, this, it, I wouldn't want to get in right here because it could push up against me. I would want it to push back up. Meanwhile, the S&P and the NASDAQ have gone positive. So Square, I talked about getting long, did not do it. Talked about getting long NVIDIA here, did not do it. Apple, you could get long Apple here. I'm not going to, but just because the range is so tight. But definitely could go higher there. There, Costco finally bumped, pushed up. PayPal, I was also looking if it came back down to yesterday's high, I was going to get long for upside continuation. Looks like it pushed through that. Yeah, Apple's still coming down a little bit. Yeah, looks like NVIDIA. You know, NVIDIA could give you one red bar, then rip through highs too, because it kind of was setting up as a continuation to the upside. So not not the best signals today. Don't like to trade in hindsight, but in hindsight, getting in Square and NVIDIA on continuation runners would have probably led to green trades. Was it good out in Roku? Should have got out a little sooner. So Roku might have a mighty 90 long here. See that? Might be giving us another mighty 90. Check toss here. Yeah, definitely another mighty 90 here. So Roku, I would trade the 
91 calls. Bill that 216. So another mighty 90 entry for Roku. And I would close half at... Two thirty five. Little blocks going through highs of day. PayPal got forced back down. It's interesting. My only concern with Roku is that it's one of the weaker stocks on the board today. So if it rolls over, it could be. Uh, I don't want it to roll over. I want it to try to rebound here. Sometimes like downside continuation, you get this push down, pop up, push down, pop up, push down. And so don't want that to happen with Roku. Meta looks like it wants to get through highs of day. Amazon, not much green in Amazon. I'm sorry, not much red, I mean. And I, I don't I don't know that I can't remember the last time I took two mighty 90 longs with the same stock and such a quick turnaround. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. We'll see if it pays off. Future's trying to start to chop here a little bit now. So NVIDIA looks like it's working on its second red bar. If you could have got in right at the top there. Apple trying to push up, see if it gets through those that consolidation or not. A lot of chops starting to happen. Build at 235 in Roku. Well done, Roku. To hit my half. Uh, 
if I get two mighty 90 winners out of that tight range, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> oh, darn it. <laughs> That's all right. It happens. I've done that many a times. Done that many of times. NASDAQ futures pushing up. Um, let's see, I'll get out of another Roku at two fifty five. <clears throat> Goog thriving higher. Okay, so I want Roku just to bust through this. Can I see where that green bar is where it got forced back down? Man, if it can get through there, I might run a little bit. Tesla kind of consolidating underneath that pivot. You know, watching Roku, it's just like, ah, can it get through there or not? Every time it tries, it has gotten busted down, pushed down. NASDAQ's coming right up to a pivot. Well, not a lot of action today, but got a couple, two green, two winners, and potentially a third winner here. So I guess can't complain about that. Ideally, Roku could finish with a red bar here and then give me two consecutive greens after that. Hey, filled at 255 to close a quarter of Roku. Yeah, Netflix has a little mighty 90 there. It's already come down, though. See, Microsoft hasn't been able to bust through highs of day. Neither has Apple. So, you know, if Roku can't get through this, then I probably would cut it. Yeah, for sure. It's it's also got a gradual descend in it, too. I don't know if you can see that. And so I don't necessarily like getting long when you see that. So Amazon kind of more, right? A little consolidation kind of was trending upward a little bit and it finally busted out. Meta consolidating, Tesla kind of consolidating. So it looks like looks like Roku's gonna give me um my second green bar. So 
probably will get out of it because it still <clears throat> hasn't pushed through this consolidation area. I'm worried it's going to see how NVIDIA has come back down. I'm worried it's just going to roll back over. So you're going to give it just a few seconds. So you're going to give it like maybe this first minute here. See you later, Bumblebee. Be back tomorrow. So I'm just giving Roku a minute here to see if it can bust through this. My worry is it's just going to get forced back down here. But I'm going to give it a chance. Walmart coming back down. And futures really popping up here. NASDAQ futures just, just ripping up. Okay, so it looks like Roku is going to burst through here. So I would get out of another Roku at 275. <clears throat> so just kind of taking this mighty 90 and letting it run now a little bit as things are getting strong. Okay, I'm going to try to close it out here. I'm trying to hit the peak of this push on this one, and then I'll close it out. Okay, I'm going to close it here before it retreats. Filled at 268. Close that mighty 90. So I let it run just a little bit there. All right, folks. Not in anything else. So uh, not as much action today, but I'll take it. And I will see everybody back here tomorrow. So have a great rest of your day. Peace.